Hello and welcome back to more of Sherlock Holmes The Awakening The Awakened Awake Sherlock Holmes ooh, is a clearly very awake Hello Hi, I have that information for you Holmes, what on earth did you say to Barnes to put him in such a state? Not now, Watson, although I'm sure this bit of news is most significant. It must wait. We are piecing together a singular affair. This abduction story is much more complex than it appears. As I noted before, our next move is to locate the place of employment for one of the villains who abducted the young Maori. What part of London would such a man call home? From what? Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, from what part of London does one of the two kidnappers of the young Mau Maui come? Ah, uh, I actually have to type it? Ah! Oh my god, I do! Can I view my inventory? No! Wait, uh, inventory. Nope. Um, uh... I don't know. <laughs> I, I took a break. I ate, um... Your intentions are good, my dear Watson, but you have missed everything of importance. Don't be rude. Can I check my inventory? Uh... How about we choose white? <laughs> Chapel? Your intentions are good, my dear Watson. Let me check my inventory. But you have missed everything of importance. Oh dear God! Okay, hold on, hold on. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. Where did the two kidnappers come from in London? Um, now I haven't spoken to him yet, so I can look it up really fast. And now it froze. <laughs> this is a fantastic start to this game. By the way. This game came out in 2007, I believe, and then the remastered version came out in 2008. It really did crash. Um, so yeah, uh, this game is 10 years old. Uh, the remastered version is only 9 years old. The uh, original version is um, 11 years old, so let's, let's call it a... Right in the middle, let's call it 10 years old. <laughs> so, um... It, it might have a little hiccups here and there, and, and that's completely... I, I'm i never going to fault it for that. It, the fact that it is that old. Alright. Let me look at my inventory really fast and see where those two kidnappers in London came from. So I think it was in the newspaper. We had someone that came from India. Um... Ba -da 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 -da. Was it here that someone came from India? Okay, the only thing I found in there was possibly Covent Gardens. And when I said that someone did return from India, um, it was Bart Fernston who had recently returned. Um, uh, he's the one whose father passed away oh, from the lighthouse. What on earth? Not now, Watson, although I'm sure this bit of news is most significant. What part of London would... Well, from what part of London does one of the two kidnappers of the young Maori come? Um, we can try Covent Gardens. Covent Gardens. Your intentions are good, my dear Watson, but you have missed everything of importance. I don't fucking know. Your intentions are good, my dear Watson. <laughs> Your intentions are good, my dear Watson, but you have missed everything of importance. Hold on, I'm looking it up. Is it? Is it Wharf? Wharf? Yes, Watson. There is little room for doubt. Our man is a bargeman who works at the Thames River wharfs. He is more precisely employed to transport and handle fish brought in by various oh. ships. Our next step is obvious. We must find a cab and make haste to the Thames near the warehouses. 
Oh, because there is fish. Hmm. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. Uh, I feel silly now. I thought I was gonna actually type in a town Why name. Why did you know? we come here, Holmes? Brr, it's rather sinister here and so cold. Precisely what? Ah, good. Here's a pub. We can warm ourselves inside. Excellent, Holmes. What do you make of this, Holmes? Oh my gosh, you are the cutest fucking thing. Let's go. Oh, it didn't even load a new screen. We're just in the same area. Cool. Oh, hi. Um. Good day to you, sir. Could you serve up two of your best pints and some information, if you please? My pleasure, sir. What can I do for you? My friend and I are looking for a man who works one of the fishing boats at the docks. The name of the ship escapes me, but I do know for certain fact it has a coal-fed boiler. In truth, there are dozens of such boats that lay anchor here every day. What can you tell me about the look of him? Only that he is a robust man about this size, wearing iron soles. Little help there. You've just described half of my customers. I have nothing for you. Here now, look for a man called Harper. He lives in a house not far from here, after the bridge near the warehouses. You can't go wrong finding his place. It has a large anchor painted on it. Either way, I am in your debt. Please tell me, for curiosity's sake, what troubles your friend? He's been waiting ever so long for a new wooden hand. It was to be here yesterday, but still no sign of it. He is quite low and has taken to the drink. Talking about him right in front of his face. The devil! Last night a nasty flea woke me, and me with only the hook on me scratching hand. <laughs> and to add to me worries, imagine last summer I had worms. Worms? Yes, worms is what it was. A sudden attack in the middle of the night, again with only the one hand and that blasted hook on the other. Hit me misery. I used the wrong hand. <laughs> Lord, I was unable to so much as sit for three weeks. <laughs> well, gentlemen, again, <laughs> thank you. Have a nice day. Oh, I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> was that uh, was that attempted a humor, <laughs> or oh, was that really sad? Because it's really. It is very, very sad. Hi, do you have to do that? Uh. Excuse me, sir. Could you... I have no mind to talk. Lead me to my drink. Alright, so I'm gonna go find the house with the, um, anchor on it. Um... Oh, that... Oh my gosh! That- whoa, hello. That's spooky, man. Man, this is really spooky. There's something about the fact you can't see through the water and it's just reflections that's really, really spooky. Run, Watson, run! Um, nope, nothing there. It just kind of looks like we're, like, out in nothingness, you know? Um, okay, um, well, this is kind of, there it is, there it is, right here. No one is here. Was that right here? Excuse me for disturbing you, but I'm looking for a man named Mr. Harper. Do you know him? He lives just opposite you. He gone. Boat. Boat. 
Watson, I know this accent. These people are Nepalese, and as luck would have it, I am familiar with this dialect. Nepalese? Holmes, are you sure? Aho Nitra. Shigong se Nitra. Ah, Nito. Bo Petro. Toro Mito. Doka. This woman says her family has suffered a grave misfortune. This altar is for her son, a lad of 16, who disappeared just one week ago. Could he have run away to sea, or some other youthful adventure? Il koga bratsain, but presindra kum. Bo Petro toro mito ka waekta dorikoto a nito to Petro. She said a man was seen in the area making inquiries about her son and their family. The man worked at the docks and had a silver eye. Yes, exactly. He was a vile man with one silver eye. Malinhe gas. Sundra broke at Hado. Oda Liga, Toro Mito, Ka, Petro, Doka, Ah, Nito, Waik Dorikota. She also says her son's belongings are on this altar. She says we may examine them and take anything that might help find her son. But what does this have to do with Captain Stenick's servant? Well, because we know that there are many circumstances of, um, I don't even know, well, people that physically look like foreigners are being kidnapped because remember the Scandinavian um, bodyguard was also kidnapped um, but I in the newspaper specifically stated that he looked Scandinavian so um, it could be that someone is looking for someone for for these people specifically regarding their looks um, especially since it's so many different cultures that are being kidnapped. So it is linked. It, it, I assume it is. This is not Nepali. It looks like silver, but judging by the weight, it's a fake. I don't think I can look at anything else here. No. I think that was the only thing. And you aren't interactable. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, turn that audio up. Oh, no, nope, turn it back down. <laughs> You're missing your waist, buddy. Your waist has gone disappeared. Or not even your waist, your ass. Oh, it's back. It's back. All is well. Watson, it appears this young man is ill. Be a good man and see how serious it is. Here now, my young man. Let's have a look at you. Oh, oh, Holmes. This man isn't ill. He's drunk. He fairly reeks of alcohol. Oh, oh, it's not my fault. I swear it. Oh, oh, my head. Oh, this gang of young toughs. They forced it on me. And then on top of it, they stole my parcel. What's that? You say you were forced to drink. Explain this and spare no details. Yesterday afternoon, I was given a parcel to deliver to an address not far from here. I was near the warehouse district when a, a gang of young lads attacked me. Before I could think, they drew knives and gave me a bottle, telling me if I valued my life, I'd better drink it all. Well... Let me tell you, I drank without stopping. I became giddy. And then must have passed out. I remember nothing else except waking up a moment ago, finding myself alone, my parcel gone. But what could they have wanted, Holmes? 
it's obvious, Watson. They were seeking some poor soul on whom to test their vile concoction. Tell me, could this bottle be the one they gave you? I can't say. It could be. I feel ill just looking at it. Hmm. It has a unique flavor. Rather tasty, I might add. There's no mistaking my senses. This contains turnips. In fact, a liberal amount. But where are you off to, Holmes? Watson, it is time to seek out the distillers of this unique brew. If they are located in this district, they may have much to tell us. When did I get that bottle? Was it just like on him? On his person? Um, so I'm gonna find the distiller for this bottle. Did they really test it on him, or did they just steal his- Well, I guess why would they make him drunk, except not to test it on him? Can I, like... <laughs> Hello to you again, sir. I won't waste time. We have discovered new details that may lead us to this elusive seaman. Most significantly, the man has a missing eye and wears a silver ball in its place. By God, that can be no other than Dirty Summers. A nasty brute, that one. Where could one find him? He must have signed on with a ship, because he was here last night looking to hire some men. How did he behave while he was here? He gave me extra to secure the private table behind that curtain. During his time here, men of all sorts came and went seeking positions. However, he seemed nervous and fearful, as his knife was unsheathed and ready the whole of the night. May I examine this table behind the curtain? Certainly, if it will help. What a nice bartender. <laughs> These cuts seem quite recent. There are four symbols. Whoa. Pub symbols. Okay, we got them down. What does that say? J. Simon. <laughs> Cute. Is that it? I think that might be it. Oh, I can't go up these very cool looking stairs. Have you found anything of importance, sir? Excuse me, sir. Could you? I am okay, okay, okay. Um, if that's the only thing that's here, but where are you off to, Holmes? Watson, it is time to seek out the distillers of this unique brew. If they are located in this district, they may have much to tell us. Oh, I figured that he could tell Have you me. found anything of import- I guess not. Okay, I'll go find the- the distiller of this alcoholic drink with turnips. That oh. part of the warehouse seems an ideal place to hide, but it would be difficult for anyone to get there. So? I assume this is your special recipe? So. That depends on who's asking. If it's the law, then I have nothing to do with this. If you're a customer, two shillings gets you a taste. A fair price indeed. Unfortunately, this vintage is a bit full-bodied for my taste. But I would be very happy to recover a parcel that went missing near this very spot. So that's the parcel he stole? Wait, so it wasn't even like a big thing? He just found some random guy to test the alcohol on, forced it on him, and so, then took what about it? the parcel? I am missing something. What am I missing? Okay, what if I open up this parcel? Oh, fake hand. Oh, 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 God. I thought that was a real hand, and I'm like, oh, hell no. Fake hand with a scraper. All right, I know who to give that to. Oh, you know what? I'm going to 
go ahead and fast travel there because this place is massive. All right, let's give it to this poor man so he stops stabbing himself. Good news, sir. Here is what you were waiting for. Oh, thank you, sir. I could kiss you. Here now. You can't just leave this laying about like that. Lord love you. The scrapers are what it is. Well, come now. Let's celebrate with a, a drink. Okay, what do I need a hook for? This should prove useful. For what? <laughs> Have you found anything of importance, sir? Apparently. Um, I can't imagine what I got a hook for. Um... Smuggler. Do you think I'm gonna give him the hook? So, what about it? I am missing something. Okay, what about this? What? One other thing. Have you seen this before? Yes, I saw it. One of the dock workers, an odd sort, gave it to a gang member, Brannock. He wanted Brannock to join their gang, or I don't know what. Must have been nigh on two weeks ago. Two days later, he went missing, and not a word since. This man who gave your friend the pendant, can you describe him? Oh, not very tall, strong, wearing a red cap, and he with a hair lip. You could likely find him near Warehouse 12. He told Brannock he worked there. Thank you. By the way, my friend the postman feels badly used. You should change the recipe. Oh, I was sure of that. Turnips weren't near rotted enough. Maybe they need a longer soaking in the gutter water. Now, off with a pair of you. This game is kind of grossing me out. So we're going to go to the number 12. Number 12. Um. Run, Watson. Come at me. Come at me, Watson. We're looking for the number 12. Come at me, Watson. Come at me. Um, number 12. Am I going the correct direction? Seven. Eight. Um. Seven, eight. Uh. Um. Well, shit. Well, if it isn't this way oh 11 he said 12 right 12 hmm what a pity the window is closed and the front door is barred we but why in blazes are we breaking in our homes I need something a ladder now didn't I see a ladder somewhere Please tell me that this is marked on my map now, so I don't need to walk back here. It is. Cool. I think I saw a map, uh, a ladder over here? I swear I've seen one. Recently. Oh my gosh. How did I miss this? There's rope right here. This old rope seems intact. No trace of soot present. There was... Ah! It was right there! Okay, so now we're gonna go back to the Warehouse 12. Go into our inventory. Combine. There we go. Yes. Sherlock, why do you keep looking at me like that? Oh, I'm Watson! Oh, I was like, what? This is kind of a weird cutscene. But now I understand. I'm Watson. What do you want me to do? Stop looking at me like that. What? 
What are you... No, I can't do that. Okay. What can you do? What exactly... Hey, Sherlock? What are you doing? Um... Wipe, 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 wipe. Am I gonna tell him where the handle is? Bravo, Holmes! Ah, it bites! What, that hurt? A splendid catch, Watson, but I prefer to let it go. After you. My god, they're so cute! Um... Okay. Okay, real fast. Um There's like no music in this game. It's really freaking me out. Um, whoa. Hello. Blood. Okay. I need something. Okay. I need something. Okay. This should prove useful. Is that a dart? Do you see that? That was a dart on the ground. The end of this hat pin is covered with blood. Name, Amo. Amo, Amo. Surname, Colby. Amo, Colby. Um... Nationality, American. Date <laughs> and place of birth, April 20th, 1852, Boston, Massachusetts. Entered the country, 22nd of August, 1892. That's a bloody drawing. Look, Watson, a page torn from an American passport. One Amos Colby, 36 years old, from Boston, Massachusetts. He arrived here just three weeks ago. What business did he have here? This drawing on the back of this page, it resembles some vision of a demon and... Good God, Holmes! It was drawn with blood! Mm-hmm. It would seem likely that whoever cut themselves with this pin is also the artist of this demoniac image. Here now, this is hardly demonic? reassuring. I don't know, I've always pronounced it demonic. This isn't anything? That isn't anything? Okay. Well, what about the... Okay, the dart's gone. I need something. Okay, the crowbar. Sales, and according to this tab, the case is measured two meter by one meter by one meter. What about you? Someone has emptied these cases of sailcloth to hold something very different, but still suited to their particular form. Oh my god, Holmes, you do not mean that all these crates are better called coffins. Really? Okay, we got a lamp. Can we open this one? Do we not want to open this one? <laughs> I wouldn't want to open it either, but... Oh. Okay, I want it to be... I'm gonna push this. This way, right? Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, that didn't push that. Okay. Um... I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> oh wait, isn't that water? That goes, that pipe runs over here. I cannot do this. Okay, I'm gonna fill it with water. Okay, push it. I cannot do this. Am I supposed to put something in it? Mm. Okay, I'll examine this first. Look closely, Watson. These marks upon the ground tell the tale. 
there were repeated trips made between the place with the sailcloth and that large box. We can't do this in such a way. How could we lift up this weight? Let us pause to consider the facts, Watson. No mystery can resist an agile mind. What am I doing when I'm touching these ropes? What? I hear a noise as if I'm doing something. I don't know what I'm doing. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, let's see if we can maybe fill this bucket with water. Okay, now that it's full of water, careful. You're strong as shit. <laughs> You're strong as shit. Um, now that it's full of water, um, it's, uh, um, Oh, there it goes. It's tied. It's tied. Okay, and... There we go. Oh! I need to click twice. I need to click on it and then click something else. Oh my gosh, I was not understanding that. Okay, and now we'll go ahead and push you. I cannot do this. Right? We're not gonna... We're not gonna push it? Um, I cannot do this. I cannot do this. What? You two, you two not strong? Oh, knife it. Bravo, Holmes. Thank you. Watson, we must inspect this place carefully and leave no stone unturned. We have little time. Well, from what my little clicker, my secret clicker is telling me, there's nothing else here, so let's go down. Oh, that's dark. Can I use my light? Good God! Holmes, where are we? Tread lightly, Watson. This place seems alive and watchful. How do I, how do I use my lamp? Oh! Oh, now can I return to, f to first? Thank you. Oh, okay. Yeah, where are we? Um. Why is that so weirdly lit? Um. What we're doing? Um. Finger puppets. Finger puppets. Let me look at my, um... Oh, it needs to come out like that, because we have that shape, right? No. No. We have that shape, so let me look at my inventory. It can come down two times or it could be three spikes out. Come down two times or three spikes out. Oh, three spikes out, like this.
Am I not doing this right? There's two down. Hold on, do I need to, like, write these symbols down because I'm not remembering them correctly? Okay. I totally had to look that up. I was very, very confused. I was very, very confused. Um, I can definitely tell that this room has loaded a... Hi. <laughs> a body over there. Uh. Oh. Oh. Okay. A box full of pendants in the shape of a pelican. These are brothers to the one found at the Nepali's house. Quite Sorry, I did not mean to skip that. Look at all of these beds. Hmm, that smell. This water contains a strong opiate. There's more of those drawings. Opiate, beyond all doubt. You are right. This is definitely an opiate. Holmes, could these villains be opium smugglers? Okay, but there's something... Metal boxes, and here is one that still bears a label. It is in the shape of a flower, which appears to be Edelweiss, and it is black. How remarkable. They are not common. I must take the contents of this box to Baker Street for a more thorough analysis. Opiate, beyond all doubt. You are right. This is... Okay, okay, but... What else about this opiate? Nothing else? Okay. Close. The left sleeve of this costume bears slight traces of blood, and here, the pocket is pierced. Aha! There appear to be papers inside. Northwood Agency. Any manner of discreet investigations for you, we shall, shall, shall search the world. Mm, we're just gonna avoid the the dead body in the room for a second this should prove useful what coal is that what i picked up coal all right let's let's look at the dead body oh wait but before what we a do peculiar that, drawing i found a strange drawing scrawled into the dust on the floor of the secret room located in warehouse 12 it appears to be a rectangle containing a cross all right okay it's time <laughs> Is that Cthulhu? What a horror! Of all the things to make an appearance in this game, Cthulhu was definitely not up there. Not up there. This man's right index finger is coated with dust. Did they fingerprint him? This man's right index finger is coated. They fingerprinted him, didn't they? That's fucking Cthulhu, isn't it? This man fought hard before his tragic end. The dreadful looking broken statuette reveals much about his terrible struggle. This man was bound with rope shortly before his death. different mustache that looks a lot like Watson <laughs> is there anything else on this body this man has a small wound on his left thumb he must have drawn that strange figure in blood on the torn oh. passport page okay anything else regarding this dude Oh, there is. This message is engraved in some language unknown to me. I must make a copy of this message before the police arrive. A herd of buffalo could not leave a greater mess than the local constabulary. Okay, so did we this do that? This message is in I must make a copy of this message. Oh. 
Well, I have, um... I have this. This message is engraved okay, in... Okay, okay, okay. I must I'm make, make a copy a of this. Yeah, I'm gonna make... Well, how can I exactly make a rubbing? Oh, I'm gonna write down paper, but... I don't think I have paper. This message is engraved... Yep, 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 I must yep, make yep, a copy... Yep. Yo, Watson, do you have paper? Oh, here's paper. There we go. We did a rubbing of it, even though I'm almost certain it was drawn on. <laughs> Excellent. A perfect copy oh, of those symbols. Engraved. Bravo, Holmes! This unfortunate man must have interrupted the kidnappers while they were transferring their victims. What are you speaking about? All of the kidnapped people were kept here, and from the look of things, for some days. There must have been a good number of them, so they were drugged to keep them docile. Then, with the vile assistance of Riff Raff, hired by Dirty Summers, they loaded these people into the missing cases from the warehouse. Last night, these poor unfortunates were loaded onto a waiting ship, their destination as yet unknown. Oh my god! Holmes! Look! What? 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 Jesus Christ, you couldn't have said that in a more scary voice. Excuse me? Let's leave this place, Watson. We can do nothing here. Of my discoveries, I have come to the following conclusions: the kidnapped people were held here for several days. They were there was a significant number of them. Therefore, an opiate mixture was applied, which rendered them docile and easy con to control. These same people were then placed in empty sail containers by Dirty Summers, men, and loaded into a ship. According to statements of the barman and the harbor pub. This living cargo was stowed away at night, and as of recent yesterday, September 5th, the destination of those poor souls unknown. This is sad, and, um, every time you load people unwillingly into a ship, it's not See that not this fantastic. is delivered to Mr. Holmes at the Diogenes Club as quickly as possible. Do not leave without his reply, though such insistence will undoubtedly cause Mycroft some distress. What the devil are you doing, Holmes? I am sending a letter to my dear brother and including a reference to the strange markings I found on the temple stones. Perhaps he can make something of them. Watson, I must know what was in the metal boxes that we found in this strange temple. Okay, let's now... Anal... Pa! Let's analyze those next time. You guys... Uh... What the fuck was that? <laughs> okay, first of all, what the fuck was that? But we will find out why. <laughs> why was there Cthulhu and eels coming out of a dead body <laughs> in this game? I'm still shook. Um, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.